this is a blast from the past and I can't wait to release all of these patterns. Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. This is my channel, the home of the Granny Square, the creator of the modern and wearable patterns and the producer of mini courses taking you from hobbyist to crochet designer, coming soon. If you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome to the tribe. And if you're returning, hey, yo, 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 what's good, what's happening, what are you making right now? I've got so much to show you. Normally, at the end of the month, I do my month in review. So, August in review right now. But I'm doing it slightly different this month. Rather than show you even more new patterns that I have been working on, because let me tell you, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Instead, I've decided to hold up, pull back a little bit, and go through this mammoth, pile of patterns that I've already created. So what I'm going to do today with your help is pick a release schedule to get all of these patterns out over the coming months. So get yourself a drink, get yourself comfy, there's going to be a huge fashion show all up in here and we are going to put these in the calendar so you can all get making, okay? I love a granny square. If you're brand new, you'll figure that out pretty quick. If you've been here before, you know the granny square is my thing. Now, I'm wearing this jumper and it was made for me by my nanny. And it is hand knitted and it's an Aran jumper. I'm wearing this because everything I have made is in this pile. Okay, now, we can take Revival. This pattern has already been released and a huge, huge thank you to every member of the tribe that's already bought this pattern. I exceeded 100 sales today and my goal was 100 sales within a month. I released it on the 8th of August and so I have till the 8th of September and today, the 27th of August, we've reached 100 sales. Thank you so, so, so much. Every single download, every single bit of feedback, I've had nine or ten five-star reviews on Etsy and also every person that has tagged me in their story, you have given me the juice this month to get up and keep going and get these patterns out to you and I can't thank you enough. I have been, my feed is just filled with granny squares and I love it, I love it so, so much. You can check out the hashtags yourself and go and see what everybody's making and get some colour and combo and all the inspiration. So Revival is out. 
It's available on Etsy and it's available on Love Crafts and it's all linked below for you. And especially here in the UK right now, we're going into autumn. So this is a really good pattern to pick up to start making for yourself. So that was August 2020. In the September 2020 lineup is this pattern. This is Promise, my granny square dress. It is entirely made of granny squares. <laughs> it was really simple to make. It was put together in next to no time. Um, it's currently with testers at the moment. They are all busily working away. They have got their factory of granny squares set up. It's like a production line. I'm loving seeing all the pictures come through. Um, and this will be out at the end of September 2020. I know a lot of people have got their eye on this pattern and I'm really looking forward to getting this out for you all. I'm really confident in the design. It's so simple um, that as long as you can make a granny square, you can make this dress. I even have somebody in the test group that's never made a granny square before. Um, I spent about half an hour over Instagram helping them out and now they've made one granny square, they have literally got a dress because you just need to multiply it by a couple of hundred. It is a joy to make, a joy to wear, and there are so many different styling ideas as well. So for the photo shoot, I wore it with my Doc Martens and bare legs, but I also wanted to wear really thick black tights. Um, you could wear heels with this, you could put a denim jacket over it, and that's before you even start considering the different colour combinations. You could do so many different colour combos on this. When I posted about it on my Instagram, um, I asked everybody what colour way they would go with and there were so many different like suggestions and options, just endless possibilities on there. So you could go for a really toned down look, you could do what I've done and just stash bust because this was made entirely out of scraps and then the black glitter to join. You could go with whatever your heart desires. Um, I've had a few people say they're a bit unsure because of the amount of ends that there will be. I would say my top tips are weave them in as you go because then they're not an issue. Um, there's six per square and I think in my size there's over a hundred squares so it's quite a lot of ends however if you have a little production line set up it's done really really quickly um, and I would do I would weave in all the ends and then add on that row weave in all the ends add in that row um, and it was done in no time at all I definitely think my second tip is just don't think about it because you will spend an hour thinking I don't want to weave them ends in when you could have got the entire panel if not both pan front and back done in that time. Um, my third tip is good company. I ring my nanny when I've got ends to weave in. She can just chatter away, we can have a good natter and I can get the ends woven in without again thinking about them. I'll put a podcast on, an audio podcast and just enjoy the time. The repetitive task of weaving in the ends can be really really therapeutic and I think my fourth tip is one <laughs> don't eat your granny squares the fourth tip would be if you really really want to reduce the amount of ends then just go for block colours so in my second version of revival which all the way over there I've gone for solid granny squares, so all four rounds are the same colour, which then means you only have two ends per granny square, and that's a whole lot less ends if you really, really just don't like doing them. And I'd say my fifth tip, if you really don't want to do them, either leave it and use it as part of the design, or bribe somebody to do it for you. We should maybe like teach somebody in our families how to weave ends in, and they can just do that so we can crochet. I might work on that. Brad, will you weave these ends in so I can crochet? Yes, of course, darling. My hero. So that's Promise coming in 20... September 2020. Put that in your calendar. Be ready to download your copy. 
Revival, August, already out. September, Promise, coming soon. October is Invested. And that is this one here. And I took the pictures for this um, at the weekend. We managed to get a day where the sky was moody but it was dry and there was a bit of sunshine. And we took some really cool pictures. Um, and so this is now going to be sent off to be graded and should be with the testers in a couple of weeks time. And this will be released in October 2020, this year. And I know that a lot of people on the other side of the world are looking forward to this because you are going into spring and so it's something that you can wear until it gets warmer. And here in the UK, it's a layering piece without a doubt. Anyone on this side of the equator, it's a layering piece. You can put, uh, again, there's so many style ideas with this, like a really big flouncy sleeve shirt, or um, you can even layer this over like a black turtleneck, like a, a loose, a light knit weight. You can put it over so many different things and I had loads of fun wearing this and styling it and shooting it. So invested October 2020. Again, if anybody's interested in testing this or any of the other designs coming, um, drop me an email. My email is below. If you send me an email, just put in the subject bar testing um, and then let me know your name, which ones you'd like to test, um, your sizing and if you've got any social media tags, add them in as well so I can find you on Instagram and that would be really, really useful. So October will be invested and I'm excited for that one. I've had quite a bit of demand for that and I didn't think I would do, but I have. And that takes us to this pile. These are a lot of the designs that I have practiced and worked on over the last 18 months or so. Since I started this channel, I wanted to put my own patterns out there. And the only thing really that I needed to conquer was that mountain called grading. And now that, honestly, I've, I own that mountain now, I know what I'm doing and feel comfortable and I've got patterns on the way out. Not only am I putting together the workbook to teach people how to grade, if you want to put your own patterns out there, but I'm also going back and I'm going to give love to this pile. Now what I need to hear from you guys is which pattern you want to see in January 2020. November 2020 and December 2020 are taken. Um, November 2020 is going to be Victory, which is the skirt with the elastic top and the matching with the elastic waistband and the matching top. And this is about 80% done. Um, but I also decided to make another variation to show you. So the gr the skirt is completely made of granny squares, and I've actually added additional in the back so that you can get your button and there's plenty of stretch. I've made this version on an elastic waistband but I decided to start a second version and it's going to be, the waistband's going to be entirely crocheted. Um, there's no sewing really involved in the waistband other than I sewed over the end of the waistband just to make it into a loop, but for anyone that doesn't want to do that, there will be a variation available where you can just crochet your waistband on. Um, and I made it in this colourway, which again is just my standard stash busting colourway, just like Promise, but I felt like it was too similar to Promise. Um, and I wanted there to be a, dif a differentiator between the two because they are complete, they are different patterns. Yes, they use granny squares, yes, they have the same colorway, but this has got to be graded in its own right. It's not just a simple case of downloading Promise and then chopping it in half and putting a waistband on it, because this has got the extra ease in the back to go over your bumper. So that's the skirt, and I was in the middle of making a top to go with. The only reason I've stopped is because I need some more glitter black to put it together. 
The top is a lot more loose um, and cropped, whereas Promise was a bit more fitted. Um, it's got a different hook, so it's completely different gauge size. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with the effect, and I know that everyone's going to love seeing that. Um, until there's pictures, some people might be finding it harder to envisage, but trust me, it's going to be amazing. And I want that one to come out the end of November. And I decided to make it into a second colourway because I wanted, again, on the pictures for it to be very noticeably its own pattern. My favourite colourway is stash busting. This. Black joining together all of the colours. But I decided to dig into my stash and I started this little number. So Victory is going to have the two waistband variations and you'll see the two colourways in the photos. Are you ready for this? Oh yes. I decided to go with Glitter Black, shock, in the centre, joined together with this denim yarn. The idea being is it's going to look like a two-piece denim outfit um, and the black just looks really good. I haven't woven my ends in. I'm not worried about it, it won't take me long to do. Again, the only reason it's on hold is because I'm waiting for yarn. So as soon as it's here, I'll be able to continue. I've actually made um, this panel and then I've got the centres to pretty much make up the second panel, but I'm gonna need more for the sleeves and for the entire skirt. Now I've already graded this, um, so all that is left for me to do is finish making the samples, take the photos and send it off to the tech editor. So there's no reason why that can't be done within the next three to four weeks, maybe sooner. So this pattern will then, one month we in now, so that'll be done, which means everyone can test it over October and I can release it in November. Yay! I love it. It looks really good. It's going to be an interesting one to photograph. Because you don't really see the sparkle until you get up close. And the denim yarn, I want to do more in the denim yarn. I'm absolutely loving it. It just gives it such a modern feel. And if you were to just do one round in the centre, or even the odd center, so maybe make them for all denim and then one round in the center there, a different color, and again, and just just dot them. So center, center, center. You'd get a really, really nice effect. For anyone that likes the granny square but doesn't want it to be too in your face, that's a really good way to do it. And again, I love the granny square because it builds up so quickly. You make a stash of centers and then you add on the next round and then you join them together and before you know it you've got a huge panel i did this panel in about an hour or two and in the, 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 the get your words out girl in an hour or two in an evening um and it looks really really effective so that's victory coming in november 2020 and I'm really looking forward to dropping the pictures of that on Instagram as well because that's how I gauge how well a pattern's going to do depends on how crazy the tribe goes uh, everyone's gone crazy for promise and actually very encouragingly crazy for invested so I'm looking forward to dropping pictures of invested and seeing what the crowd says so then that leads me with this pile now what I need from you is I have given the December slot to my Tribe Stars. Tribe Stars are going to pick which pattern they want to see released next. And then that means that for the general tribe, I would like you to pick what you want to see next in January. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm gonna ask you to post your a comment below with your top two patterns. And then whichever one gets the most votes is what I will then pick for the January. <laughs> Um, tribe Stars are currently picking because I post the Tribe Stars first on Patreon. 
So they will have actually seen this video a couple of days before the public will have and also in the post I've, I have asked them, will have asked them to select which pattern they want to come out in December. Um, and so they will pick one of these and then out of the remaining ones, whichever one gets the most comments is what I will release in January. And then I will probably do the same again um, next month for you to pick from the remaining patterns to come out in February and then March. Um, and then maybe April, well, there'll be one left so I'll know what to do in April. Um, and then it's the collection. I'm going to tell you about the collection another day. So I'm going to show you the remaining patterns and then you, once we get to the end, you just need to post at the bottom, post in the comments, your top two that you would like to select to be released. So in no particular order, we've got Risen, I've got a snug nail and it keeps catching. <sighs> this is Risen. It is a granny square jumper, shock. It has got this mesh detailing that puts the sleeve together. And is it on the cuff as well? And it's also around the neckline. And then this back, this, this jumper has got a special back. It's got the dip I don't even know what you call it. But it's got a lower back. I originally made this for Easter 2019. This is really about time it came out. I've used double knit yarn, but you could always use a cotton yarn if you wanted to have it as a more spring uh, wearable item. And I think I'm gonna put an option in for like a tie so that you can tie it in the back just to keep it on because I've got quite narrow shoulders um, so that's risen I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm really looking forward to seeing that one come out I'm gonna put it together in pink so that's risen really simple to make um, because this is like a mesh stitch, it built up really, really quickly. Pretty simple, really effective. And then we've got Enamoured. Enamoured is this huge granny square cardigan. And then I put the granny stripe in on the sleeves and the cuffs. I made this ages ago and I was just playing around um, and it's a super comfy, cozy um, cardigan. It's perfect for the season that we're going into now just to have something really nice and comfy and snuggly. Um, and it's just a huge granny square in the back. I think this one will be quite heavily voted for. Especially because I also want to do it originally in double knit, but then I also want to grade it for maybe chunky yarn, just so you've got a really nice thick cardigan. And this is perfect to wear around the house um, and with pyjamas. It's just so snuggly and you, you just want to... Oh, it's a perfect stay home and stay cozy project. Not only to make, but also then to wear. So that's enamoured. Again... Not wearing the ends in. Giant granny square cardigan. And another cardigan, Inspirited. And it's very similar, however, it's granny stripe in the back. And I also put elbow patches on here. I also made another one in block, colour block, just to give people more options more ideas of what they could possibly make and so I just did a really simple I think it gives it a really modern twist to have it in the simple colors that way um, and they're all great stash busters I stash dived for this this and this 
because granny stripe doesn't need, or granny square, doesn't need a lot of yarn to go very far. I know crochet, crochet is a hungry um, yarn activity, but it doesn't need a lot when it's granny. So, that's inspirited, the stripes, and that's enamored, the granny square. Now, your two options are, I can do this as a double release, and I could do it rather than one pattern being six pound, I could do two for like 10 pound instead. If you'd want to see both of them at the same time, again, that's another option, I could happily do that. And then it would re it would clear up another release spot for a couple of the other projects that I've got going on in the background that we're sh not talking about. So should they come out together? If so, then let me know, you can always put three. If you put enamored and inspirited together then and then a third one, I know that you want this to be a double release. Um, and then I also have Revival with the knitted sleeves, which is called Remake. And that also needs to come out. And I'm going to grab that now for you to see. This is Remake. It was, it was a jumper. And I frogged it down because I wanted to redo the sleeves and I needed the yarn. But I think this will jog your memory and remind you of what it looked like. Um, it's very, very similar to Revival, but it's knitted on the sleeves and the neck and everything. The only thing crocheted is the granny squares. So that's another pattern that also needs to come out. And then that leaves me with... <laughs> This is a freebie pattern um, that I need to put together for you and it's a Kindle cover and it was really simple, you can see it's gone quite fluffy from all the use um, but it's a great little pattern. So that's going to come out at some point as a freebie, um, you don't even need to vote for that, that's definitely coming. I know Cindy from the Tribe Stars really wants that. Um, and then the other pattern is this and this is Stella and this is my granny square clutch bag it's even got its own popper I did a heart shaped clasp and I lined it using Rosina from Zena and Rogers tutorial I'm pretty sure it's her tutorial I found um, and I lined it it's got the tassels at the side which I'm still not sure if I like them or not but they're there, but you could always choose to use them without. Um, I think the only thing I wanted to do with this pattern was maybe find a way to make it a bit sturdier, but absolutely adore it. And that also needs to come out as well at some point. So, cast your votes now. I need to see top two or top three if you want Enamoured and Inspirited to come together top two or top three projects to come out and you've got Remake, Risen, Stella, you've got Enamoured, you've got Inspirited and that's your lot folks. <sighs> Oh my granny square goodness. That is beautiful. It needs to go out a lot more. Absolutely beautiful. And I actually started a second one and I bought the fabric to line it as well. So, And I've got the press stud so that's good to go. So tribe. I hope that's got you really um, fired up and excited. Every time I got a download on Revival, I was just, I was like dancing and so joyful and so grateful and just like, thank you. And it really got me thinking about all the other designs that are surrounding me right now that I really want to get out. Um, and then it works really well that I have the exact amount of patterns to then take me up to the collection release date. So it seems like it's meant to be that I'm going to get all of these faithfuls out and then we can start off 
with a new collection next May. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of these wonderful patterns, so many patterns, stacks and stacks of patterns. Um, yeah, I hope you've really, really enjoyed it. August was revival, September is promise, October is invested, November is victory, December will be selected by the tribe stars from this pile, January will be selected by you, the wonderful tribe, and then I will come back and let you know which, which pattern is gonna come out in December, which one's gonna come out in January, and then I will do the process again so that you can pick the remainder for February and March, and then April will come out. And I'm excited to see which one you will go with. I love them all. Now I've got them out, I can't wait. Um, yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so, so much for your support of HDDC. I oh, honestly makes my heart so happy. Every time I've got an order, I've been as I said, dancing, singing, and it really, really kept me going and really, really encouraged me. And it has fired me up to get all of these out to you. And I'm just, I'm gonna go because I'm just gonna keep thanking you and thanking you and thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so. Comment below what you want to see, what you want to be released next. Hasn't it been a blast from the past seeing some of these patterns come out? I am going to carry on working on the secret projects that I can't tell you about that I'm so desperate to tell you about. If you want any sneak peeks, sign up to Patreon. A huge, huge thank you to the Tribe Stars already there. And I will see you again in the next video in September. If you're in the UK, have a wonderful bank holiday. And if you're elsewhere, have a lovely weekend. And I'll see you again soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.